Hi, today's lesson is on the modes, what are called the diatonic modes. And this one is for people that don't know anything about modes. They might have play guitar, might have heard of the modes, but don't really know what they are. Okay, so a mode is a scale, and it's a scale that has the same notes as another scale, but it's starting at a different point. When you play from the beginning to the end of the scale, you're not starting on the same note and ending on the same note that you did for the, the first one. So quick example, if I take a C major scale, I'm gonna actually just talk about this rather than even play it. So the notes of a C major scale are all the natural notes. There's no sharps or flats. So it's a good example to use. So the notes in C major, we've got C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And if you were to play a C major scale, that's what you would do. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And then you might continue on into another octave, just repeating those notes in that order. I'll just do that. So what I just played was C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then a C on the end just to finish it. So that's a C major scale. Hopefully you already know that one. So the modes are where, if we, in this example, where we take that C major scale and we start on a, on, on a note other than the first one. So instead of starting on C, um, maybe I'll start on D, which is the second note of that scale, because I, I went C, D, E, so I'm gonna start on D. And I'm gonna play the same scale, in the, the notes in the same order, same scale. The only difference is I've started on the D, and I'm going to finish on a D as well. So I'll play a two octave pattern again, but instead of going C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, I'm going to start on D. So I'll be going D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then repeat that. So hopefully you can see what that was. That was just the C major scale again, but starting on the second note, ending on the, the same note, the D up here. And that scale that I just played, the C major scale starting on the D, that's called a D Dorian. And Dorian is the second mode. So these are called diatonic modes, these type of modes. They're mostly the ones that people are talking about when they refer to modes. So it's the second diatonic mode, it's called Dorian. So I'll just recap on that quickly. So if I play a C major scale starting on C and ending on C, it's just the C major scale. It does have a modal name as well, but it's basically just a C major scale. So starting on C and ending on C. But if I start on the D, which is the second note, and go up until I get to another D, same scale, but just stop when you get to D, then that's D Dorian. And then if I start on the E, which is the third note, because it's C, D, E, so start on the E and go up an octave from that one, or two octaves, so E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and then maybe carry on, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. E to E, that's the third note we're starting on, that's called Phrygian, which is the third diatonic mode. And there's seven notes in a major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and then you get back to C again. So seven different notes. So that means there's seven different modes. So I'm just gonna play a one octave version of each of these modes, just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna start on C and stop when I get to the next C, which is there. That'd be the first one, just C major scale. Then I'll start on the D, the second note, and stop when I get to another D. So I should be able to play seven scales all in this one place. One starting on C, the next one starts on D, the next one starts on E, and so on.
So that was the seven modes in the key of C. So I played the first one, which was C major scale, C to C. It's all C major scale, really, but because I then started on the second note and ended on the, the same note up an octave, it's a C major scale starting on D, and then I started on the E, so that was a C major scale starting on E. But the key thing here is that these have all got their own identities, as well as being the C major scale starting on another note. They've actually got their own names as well and they've their own identity. So the second one is called Dorian, as I mentioned. So as well as being a C major scale starting on a D, that's also called D Dorian, which is a D scale. So you don't think of it as being C major anymore, you think of it as a D scale, it's a D Dorian. And the same applies to all the others. This is E Phrygian. Really, it's just C major scale starting on, on E, but it's an E Phrygian when you give it its own identity. So they've all got their own names, all seven of them. Um, even the first one, the major scale, that's got a modal name, which is called Ionian. Uh, but it's easier just to refer to it as the, the major scale. That's, that's probably what you already know it as. Number six, by the way. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, in this key it happens to be an A. I play the, the major scale, the C major scale starting on the A. That is called A Aeolian. So Aeolian is number six mode. That just happens to be the same as a natural minor, which you may already know. So an A natural minor scale is the same as A Aeolian. Aeolian is the modal name for it. Anyway, I'll put the names of these modes, these diatonic modes, in the description. Um, but today, really, I, I didn't want to go too in-depth with it. I just want to explain basically what they are. Um, I will just say one other thing about them, because they, when you learn them like this, they do seem a little bit pointless, because they're all kind of the same thing, really. Um, so what, what you do is, once you, you understand what they actually are, and you can play them in that one place, you then learn them again, these modes, in their own sort of position. So the D one, rather than playing it here, like this, where it feels and looks like a C major scale, I could go here and learn the same scale but in a, a new pattern like this. That's exactly the same as playing there and starting on the D and ending on the D. But when I do it here, it feels like a different scale and it feels like a D scale because I'm in the place where I play lots of other D scales. Whereas here, it, I relate it more to C. But when I'm here, it feels like D. So that's one advantage of then learning the scale pattern there. So the Dorian becomes a scale that feels like its own scale rather than just being a derivative of C major. Uh, and you do that with all of them and you'll end up knowing seven different scale patterns. The first one being just the standard major scale and number six being a natural minor scale, you probably already know. So I'm not gonna play them all now, but um, I just wanted to explain what they are. I'm sure there'll be questions about this and I will do follow-up videos on it, but please put any questions in the comments. And if, it, if you do like this one, please click like and subscribe if you haven't already and look out for other lessons on the modes. Okay, thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.